started riding snowmobiles uh, super early age. I think uh, first rides that uh, either one of us took were to go get Christmas trees on the year that we were born. So it's been uh, 30 years for me now. And uh, of course, was just with friends, family, mom and dad out on the weekend to begin with. And as we grew up, you know, we started riding our own sleds, got into uh, bigger things and of course, still shot cameras somewhere along the way we got into video cameras and uh, just kind of went from there but each time was a little bigger a little better on the, the camera end of things and it was all for home footage and pictures and stuff of the weekend to begin with and then just kind of developed we really started getting more into the filming side of things and uh, big pictures stuff like that going on a lot of other stuff was going on in the uh, extreme world and uh, that's kind of the direction we were headed to. So we wanted to be in that and involved in that somewhere. So we came up with, uh, we decided to come with 10 High as the name of our group. We weren't really exactly sure how we were gonna do that, where we were going with it, but uh, County 10, Fremont County in Wyoming is where we're originally from. And we definitely wanted that to be established in everything that we were doing. So sat down and, and took a look at where we were going and and how, how everything was developing and I drew the 10 high logo and basically it's numerical 10 in the center with an H over the top of it and then uh, that represents us and everything that we've done and, and what we do do and, and everybody involved and it's on everything that we do, it's on our clothing line, all of our clothing, it's on our snowmobiles, it's in the videos, it's on all the stuff that we're doing online. 10 high till I die, I mean, it's basically remembering where we came from. We're from Dubois, Wyoming. We're Fremont County. We're from the mountains. That's what we're about is we're 10 high till we die. So we'll go, we, home is home. It's still up in the mountains outside of Dubois, Wyoming, Togedee Pass, Union Pass. When we want to go home, we go up there into the mountains and it's relaxing to us. We, it's home, I guess. I also am the owner and head guide of 3C Guiding. I take out people on the Snowy Range, Sierra Madres, uh, Togedy Pass. We go and ride. Um, I have people coming out from people that have been riding the mountains for years to people who have never ridden the mountains ever. One of the big things I do is I make everybody make sure they have avalanche beacons because it's a safety issue for themselves and for me. We are in the mountains, we have high winds, we have dumps of three to four feet of snow all the time. And if those people go out, try to climb a hill, it avalanches on them, we can go find them. I also teach them a lot of stuff about how to be safe on the mountains, not to be looking at that hill, trying to climb that hill. They always uh, try to, people always like high marking, but if it's an unsafe hill, I keep them off that to where we aren't injuring, hurting, killing people. Search and rescue doesn't have to go find them. I teach them what the mountains are like, how to survive, and also show them an amazing time in the mountains of Wyoming. They see beautiful areas. They see huge parks, what Wyoming really offers to them, and enjoy an excellent vacation. Basically, I live their vacation, and they pay me for it. So an amazing life. Ten years ago we did have some people coming out you know Cameron talked about 3C guiding and the guys that were taking out and guiding and stuff like that. Ten years ago that that wasn't there you know there was a few groups that come out but they would mainly come out because they had friends family in the area and it was once in a while now you see big trailers big groups of guys big big family groups and everything coming out for four or five days at a time maybe two or three times a year so that is, that's completely changed and gone to a, a different realm. And it's nothing for us to be up on the mountain and riding one day, pulling, uh, you know, doing big hill climbs or, you know, hitting a big drop, dropping 150, 160 feet. And before we're back to town, that's already posted on the internet, on Facebook. The mainstream part of it is everybody's got a GoPro on their sled. Everybody that I've guided this year has some sort of helmet cam still shot. Uh, iPhones, you can you make it back to the truck and there's already pictures from my group on their Facebook and me being tagged in it and then somebody else, another one of my groups by the time I get to town has texted me 
or commented or something on that of, hey, I'm coming out next week. Let's hope that there's snow like that. So it's just pushing everything in the industry. It's not any more of, hey, we're out in the back country and we take a, sh take a picture and it takes us two days to get them developed. It's, hey, we're in the back country and it takes 20 minutes to be on the internet. We get along well. We got, we have our arguments. I mean, any brothers, and we're business partners. I mean, everybody has their arguments, but we're still brothers. We still love what we do. It's always about going riding every weekend. We, I mean, it's definitely all about getting out on the mountain and, and making it happen. You know, us as being brothers, that that's where we started. I mean, we've always ridden together and pushed each other. And that's you know, families great family is one of the most important things to us and, and we're lucky in the fact that we do get along as well as we do and that uh, you know we're, we're able to transfer that into the businesses that we have now and and, and own and run and and try to prosper off of and uh, you know every day being out there is is definitely you know great and you know there's we, we are on the extreme side of things and uh, try to make that happen pushing those limits and you, you got to have somebody else there that you can rely on. You know, if you're going to get hurt, who else is better to rely on than your brother? Yeah, exactly. When I, I know that if I'm out there, I climb that hill, it avalanches on me, he's going to come find me. I know that if I go hit a big jump, I blow out a knee, I do something, he's going to be the one that's going to be there calling 911, getting me help, helping me out, keeping me alive. And it's the same way back and forth is we're brothers before we're anything and we're family. So we take care of each other and we ride and together and we're always together doing what we need to do. For me, my day-to-day -day work is riding one of these. I go out, I ride a sled for my job. I mean, if I'm not filming, I'm out guiding. If I'm not guiding or filming, I'm just out free riding with my friends, getting, I mean, it's an adrenaline rush for me every time I get an adrenaline rush. It's, all right, can I climb that hill? Yes. All right, that was amazing. Sometimes it doesn't end that way, but it's what I love doing. It's what I grew up doing. It's all I can ever basically think about when, I, when it's summer. When it's 90 degrees out, all I want to do is go out, ride my sled. Snowmobiling is, is the, the best thing there is. It's, it's total release. You go out, you're in the back country, and the only thing that matters when you're out is you and your sled and the preparation that you've made. I mean, when you're coming in, whether, whether you're in three foot of fresh powder or your spring conditions and you're climbing hills, you're dropping cornices or you're jumping big jumps, you know, when you're coming in hot to something like that, 50, 60 miles an hour, that's all that matters is, is right then, you know, the, the rest of reality disappears. You know, everyday, everyday stress 
what what's going on at home, you know, bills I've got to pay, all this, that that's gone. It just matters what's happening in that moment right there. And that's that's amazing. That that's something you're not gonna get anywhere else.